Hello and welcome! I'm going to show you how to use an icon or logo to make a video watermark today. We start by finding out the resolution of the video. You can do that, for example, by running it in VLC. Then you go to Tools, Media Information, and click on Codec, and there you will see the resolution of the video file. You can get VLC for free from Videoland.org. Remember the resolution. Now we need to use a graphics program. We can use Inkscape or GIMP. Both are free and open source and cross-platform. We're going to start with Inkscape. I think it's more natural for scaling and positioning objects. Once you have Inkscape installed and ready, start it and go to File, Document Properties, now set units to pixel, and enter the size of your video. In most cases this will be 1920 by 1080. Press Close. And here is your canvas to work with. If your logo is an SVG file, you can just drag it in. And then you can click on it and resize it. Hold Ctrl to keep the aspect ratio. And drag it from the center to reposition it. Let me just remove that. You can also add a PNG image that already has transparency. And do the same. But be wary, if your image has a white background, you will not notice that instantly. To figure this out, go to Document Properties again and change the background color. As you can see, our logo has actually a transparent background. Once you are happy with the position of your watermark and the size, you might want to make it a bit more transparent. For this, click on it and go to Object Fill in Stroke. And then down here, change the opacity value. I recommend not to go below 70%, but this is completely up to you. Once you're done, go to File, Export PNG Image. And there, the most important thing is that you click on Page, otherwise it will only export the part of the image where you can see something. But we need all the transparency included. Give your file a name, and press Enter or press the Export button. Now you can just quit Inkscape, and if you want you can save it for later use. Now let's do the same in GIMP. This program again is free to download from GIMP.org, and it might be a bit more natural to use for people who are accustomed to Photoshop. In GIMP we're going to go to File, New, and we're going to enter the resolution, which we remember from VLC. This image will by default have a white background. To undo this, make sure you have the dockable dialog layers enabled, and there right click on the layer and press Add Alpha Channel. Now you can just press the Delete key and you have a transparent image. In here you can just drag in images and using the Move tool you can reposition them and using the Scale tool you can resize them. And if you want it to be more transparent, just change the opacity. If your logo for some reason has a background, like this image for example, you have a few options. First, you can again add the alpha channel, and then right-click and go to Colors, Color to Alpha. And in this dialog, usually white is the default one, but you can also pick it and then you just accept it and you have a background removed but also part of the image itself. However, perhaps this is what you wanted. Personally, I really don't like this and what you can do instead is use the fuzzy select tool and then delete which however without fine-tuning will leave an ugly border which becomes visible on a dark background if the former background was white. So what you probably want to do is to use the fuzzy select tool but also let the selection grow by maybe two pixels and now use the colors color to alpha method. Now 
This looks much better. If this, if this doesn't work, however, you can also use the lasso tool or free select tool to painstakingly select the area you want isolated. I also have a tutorial for how to do this in Inkscape, but me, I don't really have patience for this. Once you are happy with the product, right click again, go to File and go to Export As and give your file a name. Now you can add your watermark to your video, for example using Shotcut. Check out my other tutorial for how to do that. I hope this helps. Please leave a comment and tell me whether you prefer GIMP or Inkscape for this task. And if you have any other questions, please ask them. Also check out my open source video editor tutorials and my Inkscape video titles tutorial. Please like and subscribe. Have fun making nice graphics. Ciao!